Welcome back and in this short tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can effectively set up your devices so that you can start running nodes. And still on this short video, I'm going to show you the best VPS service which you can buy for as low as $7 that can enable you run your node effectively. And one more interesting thing about this VPS is that you can actually pay with cryptocurrency, you understand, like USDT. This is automatically solving the problem of payment restrictions in many countries like Nigeria. So you just have to select USDT, then you pay the required amount into the address that will be given to you and automatically you will get a confirmation. And without wasting any more time, this VPS server we are talking about is known as VPS Dime, which you can also find the link below this video. Now, if you don't know, VPS is a virtual private server, you understand? And VPS Dime has made it easy for you to do anything on the server. Now, taking a look on their pricing, you can see this first option. With $7, you can get a server that can process up to 4 CPU and with 6 gig RAM and 30 gig SSD with 2 terabyte transfer which is way ahead of many nodes you can run. So all you just need to do is to click the order now button then it will take you to this section. And take note, if you use my link below this video to register, you can get some kind of bonuses on this VPS time. So make sure that you use my link below this video to check out. Now moving to the specification, you can see that you are getting 4 CPU, 6 gig RAM, 30 gig SSD, you understand, then 2 terabyte traffic limit, one public IP address, which is actually one node, you understand. So that's basically how it is. So you can just go through it. Now, you scroll down, you can see this config call VPS. Make sure that you save that password. But first of all, you need to enter host name, you understand, because this is actually what they will be used to register or configure the VPS. So you just have to enter any nodes, you understand. Remember that most of this VPS provider, it is one node to one VPS. So you can just actually name that host with the VPS you want to run, you understand. So let me say new link node. But if I'm running Tyco, I'll just type in Tyco. Then what you just need to do is to copy this root password because that is what you will use to access the server. So you click on copy or any way you can copy it. Now what I would suggest is to open notepad so that you can save this password and the host name so that you can't forget it, you understand? So you just have to go to notepad, then create a new file or new stuff like that, you understand? Then save it and move on to the next step. Now, after you saved your root password, you just have to leave that configurable option on that United States and click checkout. Now, on that checkout, you'll be able to see this pop-up menu that says, have you saved your root password? But since you have already saved it, you just have to click on OK, you understand? Then wait for it to load up. It will take you to the payment section where you'll be able to make payments, you understand? So you can see your cards, which is the section which you use to make payments. Remember that I've already used this platform multiple times. I've used it to buy many notes, you understand? So that's why my details are already here. But in your own case, you will have to impute your details, you understand? So you just have to enter your contact information, your email address, your name, your phone number and everything. Then you scroll down and click on I've read the terms and condition and click on complete order. Then wait for it to load up. Then it will take you to this section where you can select the mode of payment. You can see PayPal, MasterCard and Bitcoin, USDT and USDT version 2. So you can select the USDT, you understand? Then you wait for it to load up. When you select the USDT or the USDT version 2, you can scroll down and select the network. Make sure that you select the network that will be better for you to pay the gas fee. So you select TRC20 or BIP20 then wait for it to load up then it will take you to the payments page so you can see that the instruction here says send exactly 7.35 usdt to this address now remember that if you are sending it from any exchange like bybit they normally take between 1 usdt and 1.2 usdt so what you will do is you send this exact amount and make sure that the fee they are collecting is not from this $7.3 you are sending, you understand? So in anything you do, make sure that you send the exact amount. You can just count this 
QR code with your app, then the address will just pop out for you. So after you successfully send the USDT, you will get a confirmation email. You understand just as you can see you can see danny mason of the dmo stuff like that and stuff like that about what you already paid for you will get a confirmation that they have received the payment and the what you ordered for is currently on your vps time account so this is basically how you can buy vps on this vps time from our experience running nodes, I think this experience is actually the best because in node running, you want to make sure that everything is simple. You want to buy the easiest platform which you can operate, you understand, then the easiest mode of payment and everything. So after that, you just have to come back to your VPS Dime account. Then you navigate to this My Service section and scroll down. You'll be able to see all the VPS which you have already bought. You can see this first one is active. And this one is, I bought it recently, you understand, so you don't need to mind it. So you can see that it is active. While the second one, while I was making this video, is still pending because I've not really made payment. So this is basically how it is, you understand. So after you made payment, in your own case, you'll be able to see this active button instead of pending. So all you just need to do is to click on manage. Then it will take you to the VPS data and everything about the vps you understand so before this section you can see the ip address so that is the ip address which you can use to access this vps so you can see that i currently have a node that is running that's why you can see my memory usage so that is basically how you can buy one of the best vps service to run your node now the next step after you successfully bought your node from vps time is to download and install putty now putty is the environment which you'll be using to run all your node and you will need it you understand it is very important so now all you just need to do to download this putty you just have to go to the second link below this video or you go to putty.org and you'll be able to see this option to download putty so you can see that putty is an ssh and talent client stuff so you just need to click on download putty then it will take you to this section so this part is a section whereby you can download the putty that is compatible with your laptop you understand so you can download from windows mac linux and all the rest so you can come to this package file you understand so you can see that this first one is the windows installer now you'll be able to see this 64 bits if your pc is more than quite two which is, is more than dual call then you just need to install this 64 bits you understand but if your pc is dual call you just need to install the 32 bits my pc is like Quai 7 and Windows 11 Pro so I'll be installing this first one so I just have to click on it then automatically it will just download then after that you just have to open it you understand because it just few MB so after that when you open it this pop-up to just show you can see that welcome to the putty release stuff like that all you just need to do is to click on next now after I click next the next section is this destination folder you just have to click on next because it does not really matter then this one is the features you click on install don't change anything just click on install then wait for it to load up you can see that everything is downloaded so you click on finish then wait for it to load up the readme file will just pop out you can read it go through it you understand for you to understand how to use putty but basically just involve opening the app putty you search for it to understand then it will take you to this kind of section now you will need to enter the ip address from your node that you paid for from your vps you understand then don't forget that this pop-up is actually your gateway to the ssh which is the environment where you'll be doing all the coding and all the stuff but don't panic there's not too much code in this stuff you just be using copy and paste so all you just need to do is to type in roads then enter then you paste in the password you understand although there, there are some settings that you need to do for you to start using this put it very well and i'm going to share that in my next video so make sure that you stick around and try subscribe to the channel for more free informative content like this and as you might already know i'm dmo so thank you for watching and see you on my next video